Hello again, mother bitches. We are back to make another video on the fucking uh, shithole dookie boy realm that wouldn't make sense to a fucking parakeet, let alone a conscious uh, human being. All right, I got a few things I wanted to go over. Uh, human beings are portals. What do I mean by that? I mean, consider yourself like a fucking character in a video game. Um, and there are en other entities that can play your character or play through your character, I'll say. Um, to the point that some people have third person experience. It felt like I was doing it, but I wasn't there. A lot of people that commit super heinous crimes have this experience, almost like something took their body over. It's like, is something playing the video game through that guy's body? Uh, but are we subjected to these energy entities? Call them light beings and dark beings. Call them demons and angels. Call them whatever the fuck you want. Uh, we're energy beings. We're, everything's energy. Everything has a positive and a negative and you're an energy being and you could go and put your bare feet on the ground and, and ground or literally uh, put a, a meter in the ground and show the difference in electrodes because you're literally an electrical energy being. But uh, so the idea of energy entities existing that we can see, it's not that far fetched to me, but it feels like that's what's happening. I feel like that this is the problem with manifestation with most people is that, well, here's what they do. They want to manifest something positive, but they stay in a shitty, depressed, negative state. Um, so what you're really doing in the real world, and I know this sounds crazy, I think, again, I can't prove none of this, but I, just based off of um, being able to sense these energies and kind of just growing into this realm as for what it really is, noticing things the way they really are, feeling these energies and existing with this, uh, ideas and thoughts, I would say, um, what they're doing is asking for something positive but leaving open the negative portal. <laughs> they're in a negative state. So now what they're really doing is they're telling the enemy, the demons that want them to suffer. They don't want to give them what they want. You're telling them what you, you're hoping to manifest. So now they're going to go out of their way to not give that to you because they want you to suffer. So what you need to do to truly manifest, I think, um, is to, if you're asking for something positive, uh, you have to be in a positive state and open up the portal of positive entities to work through your life instead of negative ones. So I think that's the problem with manifestation is that people are just in a negative down state and it's hard not to be in this realm. I mean, look around this motherfucker. Where are you at if you're just a happy person all the time? Like, man, what, what, what video game did you plug into, my dude? Like, what, are you crazy? Like, how could you be... But I envy people like that. I know I, I envy people that are in a permanent state of happiness. But like I said, it is illogical to search for pure happiness and truth at the same. It just doesn't. The truth is not good news. I guarantee you the truth is not going to make you happy. But um, I think that's a problem. I think we just the whole of humanity is opened up to a dark portal. And I think now we're even working against technologies that sort of put the whole realm into a lower state or a lower vibration instead of just the human entities for these or the human vessels for these entities to work through the human container um oh I, i've actually had two strange personal experiences like that, which i always said too i said man if something weird happened to me personally um like a mandela effect or like a multiverse thing i probably wouldn't even mention it because people would think i'm crazy but I guess I don't really give a fuck when the shit gets real because uh, I had two weird things happen to me personally that are just made no sense. So uh, the other day I was taking a shower. I had moved and my elbow had hit one of the shampoo bottles and it fell off the thing and bam, slammed into the ground hard as fuck. Full bottle of uh, like shampoo or body. So whatever it was. It. And um, I mean, this had pretty commonly happens in the shower every once in a while, knock a bottle down. But uh, the bottle wasn't there. <laughs> I felt my elbow hit it. I heard the loud bang of it hitting the floor. At once I rinsed off my head and my face, blah, blah. I went to pick it up. It wasn't there. I moved the curtain, looked out in the bathroom. I figured maybe it hit a wall or something. Kind of shot out of the shower or something. It wasn't there. Every, every bottle was still on the shelf. It's like, what the fuck hit the floor? <laughs> There's nothing on the floor. It was like, what the fuck was that bang? Okay, that happened and then... What's funny, I was in the bathroom again. <laughs> maybe maybe my bathroom is becoming some same damn portal. Maybe it's a mirror in my bathroom or something. I don't know. But uh, I was uh, sitting on the toilet doing my thing. And uh, I have a dog, a boxer named Gracie. And she does this sometimes if I'm sitting on the toilet, she'll be at the door. Uh, 
or I'll hear her sniffing at the door. I don't know why she wants to smell that, but anyways, and well, every dog I had kind of does this thing where it's like a sniff, 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 clear out your nasal. they like, so they'll go, I'm going to blow in a damn snot bowl, but they blow out. They have like a long, shh. and she was doing that near the door. I could hear it as clear as reality. She was also in the dining room at the windows, growling at my neighbor. Whatever. She sits at the dining room windows sometimes. She just watches out. You know, she's being a good guard dog. But she'll growl at uh, my neighbor or if somebody's coming out, maybe a box delivery. She, who knows? A butterfly flies by and she fucking growls at it. But she was doing both of them at the same time. <laughs> and I was talking to both dogs. I was like, okay, so I had the sniffing and I'm like, what are you doing, pretty girl? What are you doing over there? Get out of there. What are you sniffing over there? And I and can hear the growling while I'm hearing the sniffing. Unless my dog has two noses and mouths somehow. I'm hearing the sniffing happening. Like I'm not making this shit up. And my and I go, Gracie, be quiet, pretty girl. I was like scolding the version of her that was growling. And I'm like, I don't have two dogs. What is happening right now? Like I can hear her. And, and it's happening while I'm aware of it too. Like it didn't happen. And then I go, wait. That didn't make sense. Like I'm aware of it while it's happening. So I'm like, who the fuck is sniffing at the door? If Gracie's growling out at the window, but well, you know, when I finished my thing, I mean, as bizarre and weird as this is, I'm not going to get up with a shitty ass and fucking check. I finished my situation and went out and still had one dog. So I don't know what happened, but I could literally hear both of them happening at the same time for like 10 seconds. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going. I mean, so there was just two little weird things that happened to me personally. Is anybody else having a weird issues like this? Like, uh, a few strange personal things. Uh, discontentment is the human condition. Absolutely. I mean, that's the problem with the fucking whole of humanity is just discontent. We're never content. Uh, the human, uh, the human avatar shitty built thing to be fucked up in life is never content. It's never content. As a matter of fact, we're so discontentful that we can't understand why other people aren't content when they have the things that we would be content with. Be you know why? Because they have the things that you would be content with. So now they're not content because it's a not content fucking creature. It's just discontentful. It, it just ain't never satisfied the human thing. And it's never enough. You would look at somebody with $10 million and go, man, if I had $10 million, I'd be fantastic. I'd have land. I'd have all my own food growing. I'd have fucking chicken coops. Uh, I'd have a farm. I'd be creating enough food where I could give food away to fucking people if I had $10 million. You see a dude that's got $10 billion and he's blowing his brains out committing suicide because he's not happy. Or, or celebrities. Like, that was a thing back in the day. It was like, oh, why is this celebrity so depressed? They're, they're on pills and drugs and they're not happy. They have everything a person wants. First off, if you knew what they actually had, you would not be saying that. <laughs> Being a celebrity in this reality is literally becoming a, 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 a pawn to billionaires and psychopaths. Uh, I would say the hell away from celebrity in this realm. But most people would look at that back when, before the brainwash, we'll say, and they go, uh, or uh, yeah, before the brainwash, they would say like, oh, look, that person has everything they want. They're famous. They're rich. They have a beautiful wife. They're fucking, they live in a, they, they have two Ferraris and a mansion. And they're just so depressed that they're smoking crack in a dark alley behind a dumpster. It's like, they're not content. What, what do you need? There is nothing. And that's the problem with humanity. None of these fucking demons. The discontent demon that controls reality is never satiated, never satisfied. 10 billion is not enough. I need 20 billion. 20 billion is not enough. I need 30. I need the whole world. I need total control. Why are you never content? 10 billion wasn't enough to make you happy? Maybe you're just incapable of being happy, you fucking demonic low level entity. Uh, but why are they all like that? Why is every billionaire like that? They put forward one spokesman for the billionaire groups of jagoffs in the reality that own everything and pretend to be a nice guy and blah, blah. And that just satiates people. They're like, oh, see, Elon Musk, such a good guy. See, he said this and helped fight against freedom of speech and blah, blah. Like, bro, you're watching a show. These demons are still dominating. Like, where are you? Where they got one? Where's all the billionaires that like banded together? Where's the group of 10 billionaires that decided to get together and fix humanity and 
put forward this project where you can come and apply if you want to be a part of it, where humanity is going to grow. So like, when do billionaires do anything good with the realm's wealth, for Christ's fucking sakes? Or are they just too busy trying to satiate an unsatisfiable beast? You people are demonically fucking possessed, and I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to say it. All of you fucking billions. I mean, it's like if you become a billionaire, you become an agent of the video game. The demons just take your vessel over, and they go and party with uh, supermodels on a yacht and blow all humanity's wealth to satisfy their insatiable desires. You unsatiated fucking black hole demon humans are filth. Your filth of this realm, you're the de most decrepit, low level, uh, anything material in the realm. You're lower than dog shit, you fucking parasites. I hope you choke on the next fucking meal you try to eat. If I have any fucking power as a spellcaster, I hope every one of you low level, unsatiated fucking uh, demons dies. Um. You take advantage of humanity, you low-level fucking parasite. You degrade humanity. You put humanity in a lower state. You spread negativity and war and suffering and addiction and poverty. Instead of prosperity, happiness, peace, common fucking sense. I hate every one of you fucking demons. If it was up to me or people like me, I would rip your fucking heart out right in front of everybody. Good, sold human beings that are conscientious in this realm feel like they were subjected to it. And you think it's far-fetched to think this is some sort of soul trap or a fucking prison realm? What would you call it then? The maddening realm? The fucking uh, insanity machine? What would you call this reality then? If it ain't what I'm saying it is. And it, this definitely feels like a trap. I don't feel like... I'm in a realm that was created for me. I feel like I'm in a realm I was forced to forcefully subjected to for Christ's sakes. Does anybody feel loved by a God in this fucking realm outside of your goddamn imagination? Don't fucking come to me with some goddamn cartoon story, boy. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your fucking cartoon story. I've heard enough. You can tell that right now I'm not actually not going to the gym. <laughs> If I was going to the gym, this would not be happening right now. Um, there's uh, human emotions. Just had this conversation with my brother. Uh, there's human emotions, and then there's uh, transmutation of emotions. So, um, depression, sad. Let me let me fuck depression. That's a weird sadness can be transmutated into anger. A lot of guys do that, and a lot of guys stop there, and they just stay angry. A lot of guys live in an angry state. I don't know if you guys, my father was one of these people, uh, lived angry. So he transmuted all his sadness and negativity into anger and became an angry man. There is a, a third ring on the fucking ladder though. You, you don't have to stop at anger. Anger can be transmutated into um, physical movement, uh, physical exertion. If you're angry, Go to your local boxing gym and spar. Hit a heavy bag. Go and bench, do a bench press. If you're angry, so sadness becomes anger. You can trans, as a man, I don't know if you can do it as a woman. I, I haven't practiced as a woman. Uh, maybe I should become a transgender and then I could say it happens to both genders because now my name's Christina instead of Chris. I'll wear a fucking wig and uh, put on some crooked lipstick or something. But, uh, you know, look, sadness becomes anger. Anger! Fuck these people! If there, is there a thing inside of you that says, Fuck these demons! I can't take it! There's a reason for that. That's, a no, that's actually a normal, healthy mind state if you're reacting to the same reality I exist in. <laughs> that's, to me, that's a complete... Like that, ah, that's normal. That's normal. That's not crazy or angry. It's you fucking weirdos that pretend everything's okay. That is the abnormal psychosis in the realm. It's not the ones that are reacting normally to what's happening. But you could take that anger. If you hate this reality, you hate what's being done to you, you hate that you're subjected to this fucking place. Turn it into anger, goddammit. Fuck the sadness. Don't wallow in it. Don't 
oh, they're doing this to me and they're going to say, fuck them. Fuck what they do. I'm going to call out everything they do. I'm going to do everything in my power to fucking shine a light on these goddamn demons. Well, now you're in anger. You can transmute anger into physical exertion. I'm not going to the gym, so I'm mad as a motherfucker right now. I mean, I could go do like body exercises, some like push-ups, but there ain't no big booty girls walking around in spandex when I'm doing push-ups over here. It's not that exciting, so <laughs> to be honest with you. So. But anyways, uh, that's life, isn't it? Sorry you guys were also subjected to this fucking hellish suffering realm of get up and do that again. Get up and do that again. Why? Why am I doing this again, slave master? Because you better pay for that food that... We could have been grown fucking enough food for two times the amount of humans that we have in this realm to the point that we're throwing half of it away every day. Actually, we sort of do that now. Pretty sure in America, they say like 40% of the food gets thrown away. It's like, why, why, where is the projects that deliver uneaten, that flash freeze uneaten foods or whatever that aren't going to be used and deliver them? There's never a thing for humanity. I'm, I'm talking about a giant water distiller. We already have one actually. NASA has one. It's like a cloud creator. You, you guys ever seen that cloud creation machine? That's basically a giant water distiller. If they put a roof on that bitch and ran it the same way they did, they'd be distilling a thousand gallons of water a second. Like we already have, but they're never used for humanity. Let's just recycle their piss and shit water and feed that back to them. Like what kind of demon realm are we in? Like really, what, what is this? How unrealistic? It's so unrealistic. It's like, man, can you guys not sense the enemy or the demon the negativity in this realm that has a weird infatuation with tormenting and keeping a boot on the back of our necks as the human participants? What the fuck is this realm? And goddamn it, if you speak with a clear thought like I do, you're a fucking weirdo. You're a weirdo in the realm. Fuck this reality. Like with my whole heart and both my balls, fuck this reality. I hate everything about it. It's a goddamn suffering realm where Humans that never asked to be here are subjected to suffering constantly. Sure, the human avatar can experience happiness, but it don't focus on that. Happiness don't linger when you're the human avatar. Uh, negativity does. The human avatar comes pre-scripted to focus on goddamn negativity. You don't remember the 10 or 20 good things that happened to you in your life. You remember the 10 or 20 negative things that happened to you in your life. You don't remember the 10,000 positive comments that said they love you and they care about you. You focus on that one and say, oh, you're dumb and stupid and you're a shill. Because we fuck, man, it's like we're pre-programmed to fuck, fuck negativity. Fuck this uh, reality. Fuck the way the human avatar comes in pre-programmed to be a fucking meat monkey low-level retard. If this was a consciousness growing realm, I'm past it. Please, can I move on to stage two? Can I move on and stay? I'm, I'm done. That, there's nothing here for me. What am I going to learn in this realm? Oh, people are still suffering. Oh, demons are still in control. Oh, demons are still lying to us. Oh, everything's a lie. Oh, everything's... Uh, fuck this place. In, in a nutshell, fuck this reality and, and the way that we were pre-programmed and pre-scripted. Fuck the avatar and the reality. It's disgusting. It doesn't promote goodness. It promotes negativity. It doesn't promote morality. It promotes disgusting, negative, just uh, filth, sin, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Just gross shit, man. If, if there's a new weird shit, a, a new transgender that's got boobs and it's dick hanging out and it's got creepiness to it, man, that's going to be the next cool thing to talk about. But if it's like uh, helping people and it's positive, it, well, first off, there ain't enough of that in this reality. But if there is that happening, ain't nobody talking about it. Anybody, not, not that I see. Fuck this place and all its low-level entities. I'm not participating in this circus anymore. It's a goddamn circus. It's like, this shit ain't even worth my time, this reality. It's like, uh, there's nothing here for me. There's no, Like, even if I found out that the, the world is a flat existence inside some globe with a frozen exterior that's so cold that it fucking freezes oxygen and there's some weird light orb that floats and keeps everything warm inside the little frozen air bubble earth thing, I'm still in that same shitty realm. It don't matter. Oh, I got the truth. Oh, I've, I've, I've learned a little bit more about the matrix. I could never stand. Oh, you cheer for me. Give me a fucking panel. I'm a truth seeker. Boo. You just found out more about the shithole. Fuck this matrix. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of it. I don't care if it's a globe, a ball, a fucking dirt thing. A, I don't care what this reality on the back of a goddamn turtle. I don't give a fuck. It's a hell realm for our daily experience. And it doesn't have to be. Humanity could have been past this fucking slave state 
a thousand years ago. A fucking 15 year old could write up a better system than the one we have now. We are subjected to a realm that's that to a system that's so dumb it never makes sense logically. We look at it and we go, why is this politician doing this? Why are these politicians doing this? Why are these leaders doing that? None of it ever makes sense. I hate this fucking realm and all of its goddamn puppet participants. You guys keep this matrix system. Go, you're a fucking demon to me, boy. You're a demon to me. I would eat your fucking soul in front of everybody. I don't know what I am in spirit, but you fucking things better watch out. I'll tell you that. You better watch the fuck out. I don't know who I am or where I came from before this fucking room, but you fucking demons better watch out, boy. I can't wait to get my fucking hands on you things. Uh, yeah, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> I need to go to the gym. <laughs> Lift up something very heavy because uh, I'm agitated. I'm agitated. Uh, every day, I actually, I see good people. Good people, people that would take the shirt off in the cold uh, to keep you warm. Good hearted fucking people. And I see them suffering. I see good people in situations they didn't ask for. I see good people uh, just suffering in this realm. I don't even need to get into the personal specifics, but I just see good people suffering. Don't even I see bad people too. I'm not fucking ignorant. A lot of time I see good people suffering in this realm. Why the fuck would I bring a kid into a reality like that? Like, I hate to go back to anti nihilist thinking, but really, it, 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 at this point, it seems like the only plausible solution because humanity coming together to fight against this demon just doesn't seem to ever happen. It's like logical human beings just never exist in this realm. And if they are, there's some sort of subsection little, okay, we'll let this jag off, speak a little truth over here to give them this illusion. Oh, see, we're fighting the system. The system changes when the system wants to change. You can't tell that. This is a complete slave realm. Until it's not, I don't want to be a part of this fucking reality where there's no love in people's hearts. Everybody's a goddamn selfish narcissist. Uh, I'd say the majority of people at this point. But again, look at the realm they're subjected to. Like you, This realm ain't like a conveyor belt producing little angelic happy souls. Uh, look around in this motherfucker. Look at your personal experience. This thing ceases to exist at one point. And we got a bunch of uh, mental comfort zones to, to just soothe us to deal with that thought alone because it's so dark and morbid that, wait, one day I'm going to end? I'm not going to exist at one point. I'm just going to go, what the fuck? Oh, no, don't worry. And, and here comes the psychosis patient in the padded white room we call Earth reality. No, don't worry. It, when you die, God's going to put you in heaven. And now I see those demons for what they are now, just the comfort zone seekers. It's like, oh my God, it's like a psychosis existence. Once you become aware of the actual reality of it all, it's bizarre. My shit is bugging the fuck out. Dude. I hope that don't fuck up the video. The last time I was doing that, it didn't fuck up the video. So hopefully it stays that way. But uh, sorry to yell at you guys. Sorry to get so angry. No, I'm not. I, I think a lot of the people watching this actually uh, feel the same way. Uh, and I know a lot of the channels, well, a lot. There really aren't that many channels. I mean, actually, every channel I see disagrees with my approach. They're always like, every channel, oh, no, you can't be aggressive and you got to be. Maybe how many of you positive fucking Peters have to exist? Like, y'all ain't doing nothing for the realm either. Like, shut your bitch ass up with your little everything's like, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> because you have trouble dealing with the actual truth. I'm a negative person. Like, no, I'm not negative. I'm, I'm a little bit brash. I'm a little bit straightforward. And I am a little bit aggressive, but I'm not a negative person. I'm a loving person in a negative realm. You can't tell that? And you're a fucking idiot. Get off my channel. Go watch some other dumb shit. <laughs> if you can't tell that, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. If you can't tell that I give a fuck about you, I get on here every day. Uh, well, every day, not so much anymore. But I get on here and make videos. On my real, everything real about me. <laughs> like, Talking about how this is a suffering, negative, horrible realm that no human should be subjected. You can't tell them coming from a loving place. You are a fucking idiot, my friend. You need to go watch some other dumb shit. Go watch one of them positive Peter channels that tell you, no, 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 everything's love and light. And it is what you make it. No, it's who the fuck made this place? If it is what we make it, what the fuck am I making for myself? This is a hellish, what do you mean it is what we, how, where? Oh, in your personal life, you could make things better. Okay, dude, I'm not talking about my personal. I'm talking about the reality realm. What are we talking about? 
That's a narcissist thinking. I can fix my own person. Yeah, okay. And good for you, motherfucker. <laughs> like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're an idiot. Like, shut your bitch ass up. I ain't trying to talk about, oh, of course I can find, dude, if I went and sat out back and just looked at the water and just repeated positive, the, the human is a machine. It's a fucking, anyways, and just repeated positive affirmations to myself. Everything's beautiful. Everything's light. I'll start feeling better. So, but what am I actually doing there, guys? I'm reprogramming the avatar to have a good experience in the bad realm. I'm sorry, I'm not some soft ass little fucking bitch that can't deal with the actual reality. I'm gonna tell you the real truth. And if it scares you away, that ain't because I got an issue, it's because you're a little fucking bitch and you can't deal with it. Go sit your bitch ass out in the hell realm in some positive place with sunlight and rainbows and fucking butterflies and reconvince yourself that no, 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 see, it is all love. And like, where? There's war, suffering, poverty, physical and mental mental ailments, uh, unnecessary suffering everywhere. Where is your positive fucking realm outside of your goddamn imaginations, you fucking low-level, non-thinking, NPC, wannabe truther entities? You're all a bunch of fake-ass fucking peckerwoods. I shouldn't have called you guys peckerwoods. I'm sorry. You guys just... I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same thing. I still do in some cases. When I play video games or watch a show, or, I know it's meaningless. It's meaningless. There's nothing, there's no true substance or essence here to be found. There's no true righteous path to get on. There's no team of angels where I could go and get my armor and my wings and my sword and my shield and get ready to kill somebody. There's no good guy team anywhere. One sec, guys. Yeah, anyways, guys, that, that, that is not actually how I feel. Like, I wish all these demonic elites, whatever we call them, these just insatiable, insufferable fucking demons, I wish they, all their hearts would stop. Like, I really do. Oh, Chris, you're violent. Like, okay, some creep can have a, his own opinion about whatever creepy shit we can come up with in reality. But I can't have mine. I can't say, hey, the, the slave masters that put their boot on the back of humanity's fucking neck every day. I can't talk bad about them. And you can tell it's a slave system. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. These people are fucking, of course I wish they would. I would wish all their hearts would stop. No, no, let me rephrase that. And I've said this before. So I don't want to be demonized. I want them to see the truth and the light and become righteous people themselves. But that's never going to happen. They're insatiable, insufferable, little fucking demons. Controlled by demons, pushed by de demons, helped by demons. Low-level portal entities coming into their lives to create a fucking whole realm that for them is just a goddamn dessert feast. Let's just make the whole realm a suffering realm. Instead of each individual's life will whisper in this guy's ear, make his life shitty and depress him and create loose here. Man, let's just create a whole fucking... Rah. So you have a whole demon fest of hell going on around. It's just like... Ugh. Ugh. And I, like The idea of being a beacon of light in the reality, it's a great idea, but uh, get ready to be nailed to a fucking cross, my friend. Remember, you're in the demon's realm. <laughs> like You're still here. Uh, you can be positive and open yourself up to positive portals so that positive things happen in your life. But remember, that is just in your life. That is not going to be in the realm. You're going to have a happier existence. Maybe that's better. I, I mean, maybe, you know, actually go out and get it. Like if you can do that, kudos to you. Uh, uh, manifest a trillion dollars if you can. Hell, I, I would prefer the people watching my channel do some sort of positive ma uh, money manifestations or something. I'd rather you guys have a bunch of money than the fucking demons. Uh, uh, everybody watching this, uh, agree to this spell I'm about to cast. Uh, I want everybody watching this, unless you've got negativity in your heart, are you a child sniffer or a creep? Get the fuck out of here. As a matter of fact, if you're one of those demons and you're watching, I hope your heart stops before this fucking comment's done with you fucking demon. But if you're a good human being and you care about people and you have love in your heart, I hope you manifest as much money as possible, baby. I hope you manifest everything you ever wanted. With the power of this spell, I, Christopher Sedaris, and everybody watching this motherfucker that agrees to it, nod your heads now. I hope that everything you wish for comes to you. I hope that every dollar you ever wanted, every girl you ever wanted, every guy, whatever the fuck you're into, or whatever you are, I don't care. If you're a good human, man, I hope everything comes to you. And if you're a demon, you don't want to know what I think. You don't want to know what I think, motherfucker. If I told you what I thought and you're a demon watching this, you would see me as the demon. So I guess it goes both ways. I guess it goes both ways. 
but I'm happy to be on my team. I ain't never going to be some little fucking degenerate spreading your little disease into a realm, bringing more negativity and suffering, you fucking low-level demons. I hope all your hearts stop. I hope all your fucking hearts stop like that. Lucky my hands are sweating, bitch, because that flick would have killed your ass. Well, I'm going to do another one. I know you heard that, bitch. Hope all you demons fucking cease to exist permanently. Permanently. I hope whatever you are energetically gets fucking ripped off from what we are and, and thrown into a goddamn suffering hell realm. Where, where everybody that you suffered in this realm, they're your fucking uh, prison guards. They're your judge, jury, and executioner. Did you harm children in this life, motherfucker? Guess what those kids are going to be in your next life? You're going to be tied down to a fucking stone slab, and they're all going to have little hammers. Every kid you harm, and they're all going to come and start bashing your skull in. And you're going to feel every fucking shot until you're a puddle of, of flesh and blood, you pathetic, low-level demon. All right, I've given evil enough of my energy. Fuck evil and its mama. Um, but as far as good goes, I love you guys. Um, uh, you didn't deserve this. Uh, don't let this realm affect your pure essence. Uh, your pure essence is what you were as a child before this place contaminated you, abused you, talked down to you, made you feel bad, told you how you were ugly, uh, how you were short, how you were fat, how you were whatever, a damn incel or whatever. <laughs> you know, like, this, before this place hurt you, this place did anything good for anybody? I'm curious. Like, did you come into this reality and you were like this, this evil, nasty entity and you hated everybody? But a good thing happened and another person showed the angelic side of humanity and you seen another beauty of humanity. And this person did a great thing for you and you, you see, and you just developed it from this evil demon motherfucking kid that used to beat kids up for no reason. And you just, poof, now you're just this loving person because this reality did that for you. Man, this place don't create good angels. It creates goddamn demons. Like, look around for what do you need to see? Like, what if the Rome was just promoting uh, cannibalism at every restaurant? Would you then go still go, no, no, this is a loving realm? Like, man, what's wrong with you? Fo Anyways, bro. <clears throat> I guess I do sort of tap back into negativity. Uh, one sec, guys. But yeah, anyways, my message to all the peepees out there, all the positive Peters is um i don't completely disagree with you but i do i think that i'll say this i think that this realm is capable of being what you guys say it is but it is not what it is now if we're just pretending we're reporters true reporting back into humanity with the real truth we observed like we're just observing and then we go okay guys here's the news like we're just telling the real truth we did not observe a, a happy, loving realm. If you did, it was on a very small personal level, maybe communal thing happened. Oh, they told the kids, you ain't allowed to put up your American flags on your trucks. And then 20, the next day, 20 trucks pulled up with the flags and the schools said, everybody, we're proud to inform you, flags are allowed. Oh, and humanity had a victory, yay. It's like, no, no, I'm talking about on a, a big level, bro. I'm talking about like some real shit out on a big level. Plus that little system shit I talked about right now. I was like, what? So people were patriotic for a demonic system. Like that's cool. I understand what I understand true patriotism, but let's be, let's report in honestly. Well, I also agree with true patriotism humanity. I believe in standing up for what's right, fighting for your family and your country, uh, especially if they're good people, not demons, not drug dealers and fucking weirdos and child sniffers. Uh, you know, uh, I lost my train of thought in <laughs> one sec, guys. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like, like report, reporting in for real, for real, though. Like, I agree with true patriotism, but if you're aware of what the system actually is, uh, I, I'm, I don't agree with being a patriot for the current system. <laughs> Hell no. They're a bunch of demons. All they do is cause conflict and war. You can't tell that. Like, suffering and misery. When was the last time you heard your government doing something good? When was the last time your government uh, cured AIDS or cancer or syphilis or gonorrhea or herpes or uh, or just any, anything? When was, when was the last time you heard your government uh, spreading uh, positivity and peace in an area? When was the last time you heard um, your government creating this next phase of humanity where we're going to become a self-sustaining system where nobody will ever have to work and humans will only be able to... We'll only have to do things that they want to do. 
uh, because as humanity, we're technologically at a level. We've come together enough. Uh, no more separation, no more division, no more segregation. Like everybody's still the same race, guys. I know our lips can look different sizes. Ugh. I know our noses can look different sizes and our eyes can look different ways and our skins can be a different color and our hair can be a different texture, but it's still a fucking human. You, you don't call a poodle and a fucking uh, pit bull. Those are very different looking creatures. They're different sizes. They're different shapes. They're different weights. They're different heights. They're different colors. They're different shades. But you, you don't walk up and say, well, that's a different thing than that thing. It's still a dog. That's a dog. The same way a fucking Asian dude, a Puerto Rican dude, an Indian dude, a white dude, a black dude. I don't give a fuck what they look like. It's still a human. All you divided, fucking segregated-minded, racist fucking little retards, I hope all your hearts stop beating. I hope all your fucking hearts stop beating now. If you've got division in your mind, I hope your heart stops. I don't care if it's because of your religion. I don't care if it's because of your stupid fucking belief. If you don't look at other humans and feel love in your heart for them, you look at other people and go, well, that person's a different color than me. I don't like them. That person's a different religion. I'm going to go chop their head off. You're a fucking degenerate. Get the fuck out of my reality. Get the fuck out of my reality. Don't nobody want you in this motherfucker. Fuck you and your heartbeat. I hope their hearts stop beating. Are you a fucking demon of division? Fuck you. You're part of the problem in this fucking reality. You're part of the reason humanity can't come together. I hope you fucking cease to exist. You low-level fucking parasites. Humanity paying for water? Oh my God, I would, I would eat your hearts in front of everybody, you fucking demons. I would eat your hearts in front of everybody. I would record it and put it on display for all the fucking humanity to see. I would put, I would put the elites in a uh, Hunger Games type situation. Running man, whatever you want to call it. Them motherfuckers would be in obstacle courses with spikes and shit and fucking fireballs flying at them trying to survive. You want your freedom back, you fucking demons? You're going to have to earn it. You better get through obstacle course number one. <laughs> Hillary didn't survive it. Good luck. Uh, uh, what the fuck's the current president? I don't even know the president. Oh, Biden. Joe. Good luck, Joe. Uh, 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 well, Joe didn't make it. Throw in, uh, throw in old George, boy. Throw in George. Hey, see you later, George. Good luck. Uh, 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 I was a, I was a physical athlete in college. I was a, a college football. I'm gonna make it past this ramp oh, that Hillary didn't. Who? Oh, George. The, the crowd cheers. George's old ass survived the ramp. Fucking thing that both Hillary and Joe failed. Good luck, George. On to ramp number two. Ah, oh, 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 the spikes got him. <sighs> Fucking crowd cheers. Fuck these demons. I don't give a fuck them and their motherfucking mamas. Fuck the entity that's connected to them. Fuck the entities that give them power. Fuck all of them. I hope they all, that whatever I am, whatever essence I'm made of, gets ripped off from every everything that is like this matrix machine. This disgusting, insatiable, insufferable fucking entity. I want nothing to do with any of it. All you low-level entities do not exist in my realm. I hope all of you die. But, uh, Man, I do. I really needed to get that up. So I look at it like this, bro. If, if I feel this way and the people watching my channel also feel this way, but they don't have somebody to vent to like I do, like I have you guys, I still have YouTube. I have, you know, people that believe it. Like I have, and I have people in person. Like I'd go talk to my brother, Tom, anytime I want. I go talk to my brother, Dean, my brother, me, anytime. They're all conscious, logical, just like me. So I lucked out in that sense. I would, my hat is off to any solo truthers i think i'm tough dude you guys are fucking if you're still in this realm like honestly you have nobody to talk to dude you are the most iron fortituded fucking entity that exists in this realm like you are in a torture chamber all day and you're still here you haven't fucking i mean kudos to you kudos to you i know what this feels like and i have people to vent to if you're alone i'm so sorry uh at least you have my channel or uh you know, channels like mine, if they even fucking exist anymore. Uh, uh, there really aren't too many channels like mine. The, the close I get to a channel like mine is uh, like anti-Nautilus videos now. Like truthers, like truthers, I just see are like,
people solving the puzzle of the matrix, like whether you figure something out or not, it's like at this point, I just don't care. It's still the matrix. You're figuring out this stupid things, stupid puzzle of mystery that should have been told to us as living entities from the beginning of our existence. If this was any kind of fair, logical realm. Anyways, uh, I just don't give a fuck anymore. But I love like the personalities of like, I don't really watch Martin's videos for information. No, if I love Martin Leake, he's, he's still like one of my favorite people. I love his personality. So I'll put on a Martin Leake video and lay down and go to sleep. But like, I, I still love these people. I love, I love everybody I'm subscribed to. I love, I, I love pretty much everybody. Like I, I even sort of love the demons. I just wish they would stop being fucking demons, but they never will. So now I just wish their fucking hearts would stop. But, um, uh, you know, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't get too much of my content. Uh, the other, like probably a week or two ago, uh, thank you, by the way, it kept, kept me sane here in her rant was um, Kelly on Autodidactic's channel. She just, man, she just had enough and good for her. Good for you. I love you, sweetheart. I hope everything works out for you. But she just was like, enough's enough. Like I'm sick of this game and these lies and like everything. So it's like, oh, thank God. Somebody's speaking for me, for Christ's sakes. Finally, I, like, I feel like I'm the last one left. Yeah. Anyways, man, I just, uh, some days I feel, man, it's, 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 un I'll say, okay. I'll say this. It's, it's unfortunate that I'm watching my own videos for inspiration to make more videos. Like that's unfortunate. Like, I just wish there were more, more channels like mine that were just brutally honest and not like, uh, always trying to find the mental comfort zone, trying to find the pot, like just reporting in. Don't give a fuck if it hurts your feelings, man, report in. What's the real truth? Well, the real truth is like, even though I find this truth in, history and that truth and history and that truth and history that I still haven't found the truth in history. Okay. So I guess I could probably tune into your guys's channels 10,000 years from now and still be, and look, and then this building was under the mud and this building, I'm not talking shit to anybody. You guys are amazing. You're, you're truth seekers. I'm just saying why I am not so much into it anymore. It's like, again, it's like solving the puzzle of a system I see as demonic through and through. It's like, I don't care. I don't care what little lies I can discover in its realm. I want nothing to do with its realm. It's a hell realm. Like, again, if humanity can't get it, it just seems like an impossibility. We would have did it by now. It's not that complicated. Like, we kind of are together now. Don't we all kind of segregate the cities to the point that China is so overpopulated? But, like, uh, well, there's, there's certain places in reality. It's like, oh, look, it's overpopulated. It's like, you guys are using, like, 2% of the land in your country, though. It's like. Why are you all fucking in one spot? Like that's you're not overpopulated. You're over fucking condensed, is what you idiots like. But it's like, man, let's. I think a bunch of truthers just get together. It's like that's in America too. If you've ever driven across country, if you've driven from like let's say uh, Maine to Florida, or you know like across country from Florida to Texas or uh, Cali or something, you're not always in a neighborhood. Like once you get out of the neighborhoods, you're really just driving for hours endlessly with empty land all around you. It's like, this place is actually really empty. Like there's so much land that exists in this reality where nobody's ever stepped a footstep there. Or, or if they did, it was in some far history that we don't know. Like, I just think he, uh, truthers need to learn. We need to find some of the, like truthers need to find some of the best botanists, whatever, like uh, farmers, um, uh, survivalists, and we all come together and just go into an area that's not seen by humanity, an area of the United States where we got running water, we're producing our own electric, uh, electricity, uh, and just get out of the system. And again, you're still in a hell realm, but you're not in a slave system that pays and promotes the hell realm anymore. You'll be your own person. Uh, one sec, guys. I'm going to have to pick up the pace on this one because I got a storm coming in. But again, we wouldn't, it wouldn't cure the human condition. It wouldn't cure our current situation, but it would give us our freedom from the system that none of us can stand. So I think truthers need to come together and just move out to a place that's undetectable, a place nobody really cares, some place where it's just empty land. We, all we really need is running water and some knowledgeable people and just get out of the system learn how to farm, uh, learn how to grow shit, learn how to coexist and create enough uh, symbiotic. Like, why is our sh shit taken back to a filtration factory? 
instead of pumped out into open fields and left there until the nitrogen is removed for fertile grounds to grow fruits and vegetables. Why are we taking out our fertilizer that everybody's producing on a daily basis and just feeding the recycled water back to humanity? Like, we're not composting our shit and using it to grow fruits and vegetables in desolate land. You could grow fruits and vegetables in a fucking desert if you make the the ground alive again. People don't like, understand that. People don't understand that weeds, you, you pull your weeds. Do you know why weeds go down 50 feet and are fucking just endless? Because they, they do something. They bring nitrogen up to the surface for certain plants to grow. Like if we, uh, anyway, it's just like, <clears throat> actually to grow a perennial forest, you need an area of weeds at least. But anyways, uh, you know, it's just like, why are we doing everything that we do? None of them, why are we at war? Do you humans really, uh, what, what, what's going on? Oh, there's this beef and that beef. Like, what's really, you, you, you people are just demonic. Man, if I went around and started killing people, you guys would put me in prison. If I went around and started making people conform to my way of life, and if they don't, you know, I'm, I'm going to do something, I'd be put in prison. How come when they're called government, a.k.a. mafia, it's okay for them to just do any crazy shit that's happening? It's okay for them to inject uh, heroin into the country. It's okay for them to inject opioids into the country. It's okay for them to inject war and poverty into the country. It's like, man, when do we fight these demons? These obvious demons. But it's like, we're in video game and our character's standing there and he's level zero and there's a level point one in front of us jumping and laughing. And all we got to do is walk up and just kill that motherfucker real quick and we'd move on to level one but we're just stuck on the screen he's jumping and and, and little eight bit dookie boy just jumping in our face and we're stuck back in retard atari world all we gotta do is walk up to that motherfucker and push a all we gotta do is walk up we don't gotta do nothing tricky we don't gotta do nothing tricky it ain't fucking uh something you gotta remember it's not complicated it's not up up down down left right left right a b a select start it's fucking walk up, press A, Arr, kill the evil bad guy in reality. Boom. Can humanity move on now to something conscious and normal instead of being stuck in a fucking uh, mental mud state? Low level parasites. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. Uh, I love you guys. Sorry for all the uh, frustration. I mean, I'm not sorry for it. I, I don't like to pump my negativity into people. Like, I don't want people who are already suffering out there. To suffer more and think this way and then become even more depressed maybe like people are watching my channel and like killing themselves because it's just too much negativity like i don't want negativity in the realm but i also got to be brutally honest and um i would say if the brutal truth of the realm brings you to a place of self uh extinction then maybe in a weird way that's supposed to happen naturally or, or organically you are a entity that's past this realm uh, or, and I'm not, again, like this, some I'm promoting, I'm not promoting suicide. Like I still, um, one sec guys, uh, my bad guys. I just, I don't do good making videos with distractions. Like most, most of this is again, off the top of my head. Like my notes are three lines. Like, most of this is a rant. So but when I have distractions, it's very difficult to focus. But, um, anyways, uh, yeah, I, I don't want anyone murking themselves. I really do. And I don't know if it's just the way the human avatar is built or programmed. I am optimistic. I don't know why, but I do feel like something great's about to happen. Again, maybe it's just the stupid avatar finding its mental comfort zone to cope. I get all that. Uh, but I really truly feel in my being something positive is about to happen. I don't know what it is. Uh, if it's a gigantic extinction event, then I'm sort of like still meaning what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if that's possible. I'm saying like, maybe it would be better for pe uh, soul, some souls to leave this realm thinking it's a soul trap and all to leave at once. Maybe that is the only way to combat the thing. Oh, my glasses are like all loose and shit, bro. What the fuck? Oh, dude. Now, anyways, uh, but uh, I'm pretty enough without them mugs. But anyways, uh, I love you guys. Uh, sorry to put depression or negativity into people. But then again, there's when 
I need to watch something like this, man. I feel like I'm out in the desert all by myself, bro. So I'm glad to provide to people that appreciate what I do. Again, if this pipe, if this stuff brings you down, puts you worse in a negative state, man, get off it. I would say if you're wanting the truth and you're willing to suffer, you're going to suffer, but it's, it's going to bring you down. I don't want to be responsible for any negativity in the reality. I'll just say that. And I don't want anyone to fucking off themselves or some crazy like, man, he's right. <laughs> yeah, that channel I watch this place is a hell realm. I just don't want to be here. Uh, I don't want to be here either, but I don't think that that's the solution. Uh, I'd say, dude, man, like how many times I got to say, it's like, bro, if we're going to kill ourselves anyways, let's try something. Again, let's all band together and go out in a motherfucking wood somewhere. We're a hundred miles away from everybody. Fuck buying land. Let's just find land that don't nobody give a fuck about. Let's bring our seeds, our growers, our intelligent people, you know what I'm saying? Our tools, whatever. Or let's go and do something about this shit. Like say if you're just a meat bag that's just going to blow your brains out and make a mess in the fucking road. Put, put your body to good use then, motherfucker. I say this about thugs all the time. It's like, dude, we got real bad motherfuckers that could be on the side of good but they're too busy out there killing each other over street credibilities and like colors and like what what why are you if you guys are actual killers go kill a motherfucking evil person you know what I'm saying? like why are you killing each other like you're wasting your avatar you're wasting that meat monkey on a fucking a, just killing some gang members probably honestly you probably got way more in common with he him than you do with some one of these psychopathic child sniffing billionaires or something. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not promoting killing people. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna off yourself, do something positive with your body. So, okay, so here's how I, I see it: is um, I have nephews, I have family. I love my family. I'm close to everybody in my family. I could say I'm sick of this reality, blow my fucking head off. I'm very, yeah, or jump off a building or something. I could definitely end my life. There's a thunderstorm coming. Believe me, if I wanted to get blasted by lightning, I could. If I want to go out there and grab the fucking uh, power cords, I could. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can end this shit. Okay, what the fuck did I comp? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I don't give a fuck about this thing or this reality anyways. I do give a fuck about my family. Now, if I work my ass off and I could create enough uh, uh, residual income to where I'm in a financial position where somebody in my family needs something, I could just, there you go, bud. There you go, bud. Oh, by the way, I'm not leaving this bitch, grabbing my chest and falling down and not leaving you nothing. This house is yours when I'm gone, bud. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I guess, well, I guess I'm sacrificing my personal happiness for other people. That's what keeps me going. Like I said, it's it's servitude. This reality is servitude. It's servitude and, and sacrifice. If you're a good person, wasn't Jesus the ultimate good person? What happened to him? He got sacrificed. <laughs> How, well, even if you're a Christian, you got to agree with what I'm saying. If ultimate good comes into the realm, God's child for Christ's sakes, his fucking kid uh, comes into this reality. This reality devours it, nails it to a cross and beats it and rips its skin off and all this fucked up shit. Uh, I don't know, dude. I, I said it to my brother Tom the other day, I'm like, dude, I think I'm starting to think Jesus was a black dude, man. They just, uh, I don't know, they fucking. Did him dirty as fuck. Just what, like, what? He was just saying, I'm, I'm the son of God. And well, grab him up and rip his skin off and all this shit. Like, God damn. What are y'all doing to this fucking dude? He's just some crazy motherfucker saying some shit. Why'd y'all? And he was like, my brother Tom was saying, dude, you know that. I mean, again, we're talking about history that was lied to us about. But none of us really know anything. But uh, he's like, no, no, crucifixions were pretty common back then. It wasn't like uh big deal. I was like, but. But what was he doing that was so bad? And he was like, well, you know, and then he's like telling me like he actually did a lot of shit. He was basically anti-government. He was anti, well, not government. It wasn't called government then. It was more like the power structure. Like he was anti-empire and the, the, you know, leaders that controlled the world back then and probably still control the world today. Probably same bloodline of uh, weirdos. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out because it's about to start raining and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love you guys.